what? I haven't made a video on this before. I don't know. Extremely cute. Why am I fumbling so much? Take assistance from anyone. It really, really tricky. Okay, everybody's documents. Everybody's documents are involved. The mom is prompting me from behind. So don't talk. It'll all come into the camera. Hearing the knee jay. And few. What was the fourth one? What are those called? Heat thermals. My mom was doing thumbs up. <laughs> channel a lot to tell a tale my name is shamnishta and today i am back with another video after ages i know i keep saying i will try and upload more videos frequently but i go completely mia that is because i have a full time job and it doesn't allow me to make videos as frequently as i used to when i used to live in ireland but uh, today i thought is a great time to upload a video because it's just one month ago one month for what you ask um it's because today is the end of july and there's just one month for the next academic year to begin be it in ireland and other countries also so i just thought that i'll do like a quick rundown because in this particular phase all the students who are planning to go abroad to do their masters are you know stuck in different phases of the process of going to uh, ireland or any other country for example few might have already applied for their visas and are waiting to hear from the embassy a uh, few might have already gotten rejected and are reapplying a uh, few are yet to book their appointments uh, with the visa office and few who have already gotten their visa and are prepping to leave the country so i thought i'll give you a quick rundown so if you fall in any of the above criteria then i'd suggest that please stick around so that you don't miss anything important and you will thank me later so let's begin now we'll start with all those students who have already applied for their visa have heard from the embassy and have got in touch with good news and are flying for sure now you guys have one month in hand all happy days nothing to worry about apart from having to meet different different people your friends and family and telling them bye uh, doing little bits and pieces of shopping if you have been watching my videos all through this while then you know that i always recommend that don't do any major shopping in india whichever country you're going to just for the initial days just to survive buy something no india is not going to be providing you with clothes or the material and the quality that will help you sustain the weather conditions of another country so i just suggest that pick a few hoodies pick a few uh, what are those called those warmers those thermals from uh, stores like jockey and all of that and just just leave don't carry anything don't overload yourself don't take take an extra luggage at all uh there is like an in detail video i had made about this long ago but it stays relevant even till today i'm going to leave the link in here and also in the description box so go give it a watch and i'm sure you'll thank me so for people who are going right um after shopping i think the most important is booking accommodation ireland it's nothing it's not even news when you say that ireland is always going through a housing crisis right and given post covid the amount of students who are going to another country specifically to ireland has increased so much that when you open facebook groups that are based out of ireland right i see more of people saying hey i'm looking for so and so so and so so and so please let me know if there's vacancy in comparison to people saying that i have a vacancy at my place if you want come and visit so you see there is more demand and less of supply when it comes to housing and i would given how i have shared my experiences on my channel where i was homeless for the first two days um when i landed at the airport i was i didn't have a place to stay for the first 6 hours and then some random people um uh, we met on the streets who were who was who was an indian family uh, who let us stay in their house i just don't want anybody to go to go through that situation because it's hopeless a you're leaving your country and moving to another and b when you don't have a place to stay it makes you all the more homesick and makes you feel like regretting the decision that you have taken uh having your cards not activated or not having temporary accommodation booked and not having cash in hand are three biggest problems that you might face once you land in another country so always make sure that you convert some money and keep it handy for the initial expenses like the you know taxi fare and the initial hotel paying so uh, whatever bookings you've made if you have to pay for that any basic food and amenities that you have to buy um next would be accommodation please book your accommodation in prior i am not talking about permanent accommodation make sure you book temporary accommodation it can be a hotel or it can be student living there are 
various options available online to book your student uh, accommodation if i have to give you a suggestion myself i would recommend amber student if you've been watching me for some time now you know that i have been associated with amber student for about um two years now and i really trust them uh, so many people so many students from my end have booked them you know as soon as they land there is where they actually go and check in uh, so i'd really recommend that book yourself a temporary accommodation uh, i will leave a referral link uh, in the description below just use that referral link and do a booking and i think you're good to go do not go there without booking yourself an accommodation a hotel or a student accommodation all of these fall more or less under the same prices if you do not know anybody there who is not willing to offer you an accommodation a friend an acquaintance then i always suggest that teen din ya char din ya panch din at least for one week secure your accommodation go find your university go to your um, initial admission uh, registration processes to get your id card and then start looking for permanent accommodation next we're going to talk about those people who have applied for their visa and have gotten rejected now uh, i have sailed in the same boat as yours uh, there is a uh, video where i have totally dedicated reading my rejection letter out my visa rejection letter talking about it in detail as to what went wrong how did i figure it out what was the reason for rejection and how did i solve it out after that to get an approval um so i link that somewhere here and also in the description box so go give it a watch but if i have to like run you down make sure that the rejection letter is your bible every every embassy make sure that they in detail mention what went wrong so i don't think you have to go beyond that to fix the issue just go line by line as to what went missing and just try and fix it in specifically in terms of ireland on like in most cases your visa gets rejected when there's not enough proof uh, for a source of income or for a source of saving so like i say all the time that if you are showing gold show where that gold has come from if you are showing any savings show that where the savings has come from if you are showing money that has been lent to you by somebody else show who that person is what he does in his life how did he make that money that's the only issue when it comes to ireland that they always want to understand the source of the money that you are using to pay your fees uh, you know your living expenses my mom is prompting me from behind so don't talk it'll all come into the camera um so yeah give 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 all the important documents that can support the amount of money that you're showing uh don't leave anything without signatures make sure you get everything attested by a ca have the signatures of everybody involved everybody's documents everybody's documents that are involved and everybody's income and financial statements that you're showing has to have signatures and the most important point when it comes to ireland specifically make sure that the funds are older than 6 months like in case of uk the funds can be really fresh and nobody is going to hold you accountable for it but when it comes to ireland people want to only take in count the funds that are more than 6 months old so when you are reapplying for your visa make sure that you have all this in mind and you are good to go don't worry don't take it to your heart don't take it personally i was howling and crying when my visa got rejected don't do that <laughs> it's okay they're not rejecting you they're just not sure that you are uh, you know financially equipped enough to go and survive there so it's okay you'll be okay so make sure you keep all these points in mind and i think you'll be good to go so all the best to everybody whose visa got rejected reapply make sure you're careful this time take assistance from that take assistance from a professional and you're good to go right the third category is where people are yet to take an appointment for their visa now this category can be really really critical okay now this category can be really critical because here most people think that they can do this by themselves right i always tell you guys that never ever take this up on your own always take professional help have your consultancy fill those forms for you you don't do it if you're doing it also it has to be under their vigilance there always has to be an expert advice when you're filling the avax form because that is extremely crucial so if you say you have like set of 10 documents right and on your avax form you manage to you providing 10 documents but on your avax form if it's um just seven or eight and you're like koi baat nahi isme hai na they'll hold you know they'll keep account of it no that's not how it works if there's anything missing on this that's present here or if there's something missing here that's not present on the avax form it can lead to rejection so make sure that every document you're submitting is accounted for on that form every uh, 
penny that you're showing in terms of finances, everything is accounted for in that form. Even if there's no place, go beyond that paper, there's empty space, piche lik do, niche line ki niche lik do, but likho because it's a handwritten form. Nobody is going to hold you accountable for it. Just sit and write as much as you can. Don't bother about anything else. That's this is this is the only foolproof way to avoid visa rejection after providing everything also. Because sometimes it so happens that because of not being able to tally the documents and the form, they reject the visa. So make sure that you don't give them reasons. So for everybody who is yet to take an appointment, make sure that you dedicate two, three full days, go through the form again and again, keep tallying, you know, take second opinions from your professional, from whoever has gone around um, and studied before and who has gone through this process. Make sure that you double check time and again to avoid any kind of mishaps. And uh, I have also made a video where I'm talking in depth about uh, what happens post reapplication. How did the reapplication happen? I have covered almost all the topics possible in individual videos. I'm going to put all these links in the description just so that they're easily accessible. So I'd suggest that just go give it a watch just to like get a more in detailed insight into the run through that I'm giving you right now. The last and the fourth category is for people who have already applied and are waiting to hear from the MC, right? So this category, uh, be sure that once you apply, it is going to take anywhere between one month or slightly more depending upon the volume of applications the embassy has received. The sooner you apply, the sooner you get to hear. When I say sooner, I mean the sooner in terms of your uh, day of joining at the university. But usually one month leke chalo, usse zada bhi lag sakta hai because in my case it definitely took more than a month and after more than a month I got rejected so I put in another month to reapply and uh, hear from them again. So if you have already applied and you are waiting then I know that there is a lot of anxiousness in terms of understanding ki am I getting it or not getting it. In this phase specifically, people tend to think that, oh, what if it's accepted, then I should have, I will not have any time to prep. So let me just start prepping. I personally would recommend don't buy anything. Don't start packing. Don't do anything unless you have your passport in hand. Do not start prepping unless you're sure and see that stamp on your passport because A, it's very disheartening. B, you're jinxing it. All of these are superficial, but like, um, don't do it uh, unless you have the stamp on your passport. It, my person, my per, in my personal story, I saw the stamp on my passport and I left the country in three hours. So I had zero prep. I didn't even have a suitcase. Um, as soon as I got the stamp, me and my mom started stacking clothes. Uh, my uncle was coming to see me off and we asked him to get a suitcase. And that's how I left the country in three hours. So do not prep. Irrespective of you being extremely sure about your visa approval, I would not recommend you prep. You never know what happens. Uh, you never know what what can go wrong. So I'd suggest that please wait. Uh, let let yourself let, let, wait till you receive an email. Wait till you have the passport in hand with the stamp and then start prepping and then start telling people that you're leaving. Until then, Dindora bhi mat pitna. Right. Uh, I think I've covered all the points in terms of what phases students are stuck in currently in this month, which is end of July and the whole of August, the students are going to be stuck in this phase. So I hope this video helped. I hope I could give you like a quick rundown of all the things that you should keep in mind uh, when you're stuck in these particular phases. If you want like more in-depth details into um, how to pack, what all to pack, uh, how to reapply, what happens after you reapply, what happens when you are getting rejected? Can you apply again or not? Um, how to book an accommodation? Where to book an accommodation? All the individual videos are available on my channel. Even though I started making videos about two years ago, they are relevant even till date. Nothing has changed. Just like the Irish visa system hasn't changed. I'm going to put a few links that are like instantly needed for you to watch after this video but like also head on to the channel and watch other videos you're free to watch them so that is all for today guys if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment if you have any questions you know i'm always up for helping i know i have not been able to get back to so many people who've been dropping questions on the instagram uh, they slide into dms and they go into those message requests and i tend to like skip people um i'm going to try and respond to everybody which is exactly why i actually do a q a every um you know once or two once in two weeks or once in three weeks so 
don't miss a q and a because i try and answer questions for people in general and also try and get into some details otherwise so do follow me on instagram shamistra09 is my instagram handle i'm going to leave that link here also for people who are planning to go to either ireland or uk or any other country for that matter to do their masters in the coming intake then just letting you know that i offer professional assistance going abroad is um a big decision and i would only recommend you to take professional assistance i offer professional assistance too so i'm going to leave a google form link in the description below if you're interested please go and fill the form and someone from my team will get in touch with you and offer you end to end assistance for like minimal charges please don't go to big consultancies and pay 80000 90000 bucks please don't do that that's a lot to pay for consultation charges don't do that please go down fill the form and uh, i will be happy to help i'm also going to leave in the amber student referral link in the description below go and book your temporary accommodation before the real challenge of looking for permanent accommodation kicks in that is all for today guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to alive to tell a tale until next time see you goodbye